Hello, and welcome back to Try Hard Tuesdays. I'm your fun and artsy host, Troubadour, and I got a fun team for y'all today. Uh, for those that don't know, Try Hard Tuesdays is a series in which I try to win with just the most disgusting, the strongest, the most just, they just give you that visceral reaction of disgust when you see them, but you can't help but admit that they are pretty darn strong. That's the teams we're going for today, and we're doing it here in the Golden Pack. So we're gonna be going for a, a different kind of play style in Golden Pack. Last time I did Golden Pack in this series, I went for more of a Trumpets plus uh, Nurse Shark kind of team. But this time, I wanna run a different team that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, we're gonna be running a gold team. I love gold teams. Oh my gosh, man. It's probably my favorite way to play. I mean, number go up. I mean, you see the money go up, then you see your stat go up, and then your, your trophy number go up. It's amazing, I love it. Um, but we're gonna be taking that to the extreme today. That's another thing we do this series. Really like, we take the good stuff and we take it to the extreme where it's like, has science gone too far? That's what we do in this series. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get an early level up just because I want to weasel that bad. I don't really care. I didn't. I saved the opossums just for a weasel because I didn't want to spend on a beta fish. Pretty sure recording this only took me one try too. Like this is just a strong team, and I mean honestly, gold builds. I love them because number grow up, and it's one of the main reasons I love tur uh, golden packs so much is because money builds. Money builds are uh, a big thing in golden pack. They're very good, and I like to run them. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Grab the baboon as well. We're gonna sell the beta fish, even though it's doing pretty well. We wanna make sure the baboon targets our weasel. So that's why we go ahead and sell there. And we freeze a fig to give to our chipmunk so we can uh, get some uh, get some really cheap figs. Uh, we face a, uh, what is that? We face a sea urchin here, which could have been annoying if you know it was leveled up a little more because we have a lot of stats, but sea urchin can really even that out in the early game. But luckily we didn't have to worry about that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab a second baboon as well, just because I like to live on the edge. They're not gonna hit each other. They're both gonna hit the weasel. Just watch. I'm not scared at all. And then we're gonna do that as well and check this out. See, one of them hit the weasel, just like I said, easy. Um, facing a beta fish lizard team here. But yeah, in the early game here, we're just trying to like stat up our weasel and then we're gonna pivot to some more money uh, pets later, like maybe a manta ray, maybe a silver tail fox, but especially a bird of paradise. Bird of paradise is essential to this team and just to gold builds in general. So we're definitely going to try and run that here. Uh, we do find a manta ray, decide to go ahead and pick it up because uh, we want a buff target for the baboon. And we've got a couple figs we can get with our chipmunk as well, so might as well go ahead and buy them. We're looking pretty good here. I mean, we are running a four squad, but Niala early is not bad at all. We got decent stats on our uh, Stingray as well, so we're able to trade there. Now, I'm not planning to keep the Stingray long term. You can run a Stingray pretty nicely in a gold build, especially with Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise targets uh, three friends. And if you're running a four squad with Stingray, that means the Bird of Paradise will always hit the same three pets, which is really nice. Um, so it's definitely good for those kind of builds, but I want more. It's like, it's like that Star Wars meme, more, more. And that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, so I'm gonna run a little more than the Manta Ray. You know, I'm getting like one gold from the Weasel. I'm getting two gold from the Manta Ray, but I think I can do better. So I'm gonna bring in the Silver Tail Fox. And this is when we're really gonna start raking in the dough. We're gonna be making the big bucks, baby. And look at that, the Bird of Paradise. I mean, it's almost perfect. We got Bird of Paradise triple gold generators and we got uh, almost level to silver tail fox and we're gonna start making some gold baby <laughs> money, 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 money. i'm like i'm like scrooge mcduck swimming in the swimming in his safe you know with all the all the money there oh man so yeah we're gonna be getting a lot of money here now i know the manta ray didn't get a trigger its ability but i didn't really care i was just keeping it for the stats for a turn i don't want to keep it long term don't find another bird of paradise unfortunately but we are getting close to getting a level three silver tail fox already we just bought that last turn that's crazy uh but yeah silver tail fox it takes you need to invest some stats into it for it to really get effect but it can generate a lot of money per turn i mean you at level one only generates up to three gold but at level three you can get up to nine gold from one pet which is super awesome so that's why i'm gonna try and run it in our team here I feel like it's a trigger once there, but that's okay. We've got a level two weasel to balance it out. We're at 14 gold. And you now we're going to sell the Manta Ray. It's not really doing anything besides just being uh, just being large with its stats. But we're going to get even larger with the Bird of Paradise here. And you know what? 
It's Try Hard Tuesdays. We're gonna bring in the second bird of paradise. That's right. You know, we'll sell the, the baboon as well. We'll bring in a cobra. Cobra's just, oh my gosh. I think I've talked about cobra before. I've had it on Try Hard Tuesdays before. Like cobra is just like, did I have it on Try Hard Tuesdays? Yeah, I did. Cobra's just a really good unit. Um, if you can stat it up and level it up, especially like its snipes do so much damage. You can be one-shotting people with just your Cobra. Also, they didn't have anything in their Beluga there. I wish they did. It would've given me an extra trigger on my uh, Silvertail Fox. And you know what? It's Try Hard Tuesdays, Triple Bird of Paradise. That's right. We're running Triple Bird of Paradise with a level three Silvertail Fox. We're gonna be raking in the dough. We're gonna be uh, building up the stats. We're gonna be getting large. We're in charge. I'm excited. I got the big money, big stats. Soon to be a big Cobra as well. And we're gonna start sweeping some teams. Pita Bread's super clutch here to let my Silvertail Fox and Cobra trigger more times. Uh, Nurse Shark there kills one of my uh, Bird of Paradises, but I don't really care. How much gold do we get this turn? We're at 19. Oh yeah, you know what? We're just gonna level up these Birds of Paradise uh, because I like more stats. I'm very greedy. That's why I love this build is you can just go full greed with it. You know, maybe I should look for a Cobra level as well. <laughs> That's probably a little smart right now, even though it's at 24 attack. It's only doing 20% of that as damage. Um, I don't know quick maths in my head. What was that like four? Yeah, four, look at that. Quick maths, baby. Uh, but still four damage, not bad. A little bit of chip damage is still worse than a level one snake. Um, we still draw here. That's perfect. I actually love drawing. It gives me even more time to level up my Bird of Paradises and to get my Cobra statted up as well. And I think this is the point when I'm playing I'm like, oh wait, I need to get the Cobra leveled up too. So I'm gonna look for those levels as well. Look at that double chocolate. And we're gonna get a le another level two Bird of Paradise. We got level two Cobra, level two Bird of Paradise in this turn. Oh my gosh. I mean, just look at this team. Look at the stats. Like this is so mean. Oh man, a Silvertail Fox only gets to trigger twice there, but that's okay. With the uh, Theta Bread on the Cobra, we're able to sweep the rest of the team. And we're on nine wins. I mean, what do I even do at this point? Like I basically won. You know, it's funny, it's the game right before this, I did the exact same strategy, except I got a 50-50 Cobra, level three Cobra and Silvertail Fox. I decided to sell the rest of my team and just run those two units. I ended up winning anyway, and I've turned it into a short you guys may have seen on Sunday. So this strategy is insane. We almost maxed out our Cobra already. I mean, what, look at this stats. Turn 15, we have like almost two 50-50s. All the bird paradises are really big as well. Your money team is not as good as mine and I'm able to take the win. Oh man, turn 15, the big gold, big stats, four hearts. I mean, this team was insane. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed like me, I love me some money builds. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that generic stuff. I'll catch you all next time. And as always, stay true.